Well, hello Scorpio, and welcome to your horoscope. Now as you can see here, we've got a pretty full stellium here with Mercury, Saturn, Venus in the North Node. You're wielding a lot of power these days, Scorpio. I don't know how to tell you that. Now, Saturn and Venus are friends. They get along really well. Scorpio is a creative sign. Some would say because it's Mars ruled that, you know, it's a, it's a detriment to Venus. I mean, you know, the, the ironic thing about that is the majority of Scorpios, at least the first 24 degrees, are usually Vedic Libras and, you know... Um, Venus in Vedic Libra, which is where it is, is um, considered magic, <laughs> sensual. It's Kama. Kama is love, people. You know, not to confuse the game, but I mean, in reality, we, I think as astrologers, we're better off if we look at a whole picture. What are all the possibilities rather than just a few? Scorpios are creative people. Pablo Picasso, Neil Young, Joni Mitchell, Aaron Copeland. Dickie Betts, uh, <laughs> Dwayne Allman, Adam Ant. I mean, I can go on and on. Um, I think the real deal here is um, what are your values? What do you really value right now, Scorpio? Because that's what Sagittarius is ruling. That's where the money is. And money's coming in. You're making it happen. You're doing a lot better. You got your flow going on. And, and face it. You know, most Scorpios, they got this kind of undercurrent. They know how to make money because they see where the resources are coming and going. And they have somewhat of an intuition of what people are going to buy next. They have a little bit of more foresight. So that helps, you know what I'm saying? Um, so Jupiter's in the eighth house. So yeah, you're, you're loving, you know, your sexuality and, and the mystical quality that you have. That's, that's giving you some pleasure these days. So there's kind of a balance right now between that. And I, I would say actually Jupiter opposing Sun in uh, Sagittarius is actually good. It's going to bring in more money. It's going to help. Um, you know, Mars and Pluto just recently conjoined and over there in your third house. I mean, it's time for you to communicate transformational healing. We need renewal in the earth right now. You know, it's, it's really time to plant trees and ride bikes and get off the whole big corporate energy bandwagon as much as you can because these people don't have the best interest for the planet or us as individuals, unfortunately. <laughs> Not paying attention. Scorpio, you're paying attention. Venus and Saturn say you can do something beautiful in a practical way. Mars and Pluto say you got a passion to work with your hands, to make a song, have a message that makes people think differently about the way they act with the earth. And even Neptune in your fifth house is saying, you know, we, we need a higher love right now. Let's work with that. 